everyone, welcome to our channel Organized by Darcy, where we take the very simple and inexpensive and make it look so, so elegant. So today we're doing part three in the kitchen organization series. I'm actually doing my kitchen cupboards. Come with me and let me show you how I've organized my kitchen cupboards. Right here with the drawer that has the batteries. This is where I keep all the different types of batteries and it's very organized and easy to get to as well. So this is drawer number one. Now I'm not gonna be opening all the drawers, but I'll pull out some as we go along. This drawer has all the extra platters and big plates are kept in this drawer here. This drawer has like placemats and basket, bread basket. This drawer has the Vitamix, the mixer, coffee maker, and the cups and bottles that we keep here for um, drinks for the refrigerator. We'll move over to this drawer, and this has all the different paper um, goods, for instance, all the sandwich bags, snack bags, or regular freezer bags are kept in this drawer here. Below the another pullout that has more platters. More platters as well. This cabinet has all of the soap bowls and the plates, the day-to-day -day plates. And of course I keep all these um, containers here. And if you notice, they are all square containers. I do have the lids on, these are kept right here. And I have a lot of these that I keep as well in the refrigerator. These are for leftovers and also for food prep. For example, if I'm cutting up the fruits and vegetables, I'll keep these in the refrigerator in the containers like these. I do have a lot of these in the refrigerator as well. So that is the cabinet that has all the plates, soup, plate, soup bowls, plates, and of course the containers for food prep. This cabinet has all the glasses, wine glasses, um, regular glasses, and of course some extra glasses here. And these are the kitchen items that we use um, on a daily basis. This drawer has all the spices that we use on a daily basis, and it's kept here in different containers. Sometimes I can pull the con entire container out, or I can just pull one at a time as I need to use. So these are the spices that we use. This is where I keep um, the knives and forks and spoons when we set the table. This is where we pull the items from. This cabinet above the refrigerator has mostly wine glasses and boxes and these are just kept there for special occasions. Two cabinets down from where we have those wine glasses in boxes. I have some cookbooks that I keep in this cabinet here as well. These two top drawers by the breakfast area is where we keep our coffee and tea um, packages as well as um, hot chocolate or some vitamins here as well. So this is just by our breakfast area. And all the teas and the coffee are kept right in these two top drawers. The drawer below the tea and coffee drawer has all the um, dish towels that we use here in the kitchen, the ones that are clean and ready to be used. So this is just an overview of the, my kitchen drawers. You've seen me do the refrigerator last week, last Friday, for how I clean and organize the refrigerator. The week prior to that, you saw me organize the pantry. And next week, I'm looking forward to doing the spice drawers as well as 
some of the other drawers. So don't forget, come back next week. I'd love to show you part four. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. That is if you have not already done so. And if you have, I want to say a special thanks to you. Again, next Friday, we'll be doing another video on the Kitchen Organization Series Part 4. Come back. I'd love to see you then. Take care, and I'll see you next Friday in our next video. Goodbye, and of course, good luck.